Hello everybody, so today I want to talk about nightmares and dreams. But before I start, I want to say thank you for subscribing. We recently hit 50 subscribers and I'm still shocked that so many people are still watching me. Anyways, thank you again and uh, I want to ask you, what do you want to see in the next video? I was thinking to show you my childhood's most favorite place. What do you think about that? But if you have any suggestions, tell me them in the comments below. Actually, there was a suggestion that I should show my room, but my room is a mess. I don't think you would like to watch that. Okay, I'll do that, but not as a thank you video. I don't want that to be something special. Okay, let's talk about nightmares and other dreams. Today I had a freaking nightmare tornado. My dreams are always crazy. There are only three options that can happen. Number one, I am likely to die from anything in this dream and it's absolutely random number two i am in a freaking extreme condition with my friends and number three what the heck i'm doing here condition where i don't know what i'm doing here or where is it and even if i'm seeing this craziness in my dream i'm likely to close my eyes and watch it till the end because I just want to know where exactly this dream brings me. <laughs> Actually, do you have this feeling that you want to close your eyes and see the whole thing again or completely? Even if it's not real, watch it till the end. Like, real life, go away, I want to be there. I have. Even if this dream is scary, I want to close my eyes and see it completely. I just want to know where I will be in the end of this dream. Am I dead? Will I be in the weirdest place ever in this dream? I just want to know that. But today's dream was everything. Maybe this one is the craziest one of all time <laughs> I had. So the story is, in short, I was with my friends on a freaking helicopter and my craziest friend was driving the exact helicopter. I don't know how we get it, but I think we stole it. Actually, there is one thing to mention, that we were flying on an extremely low height. I think there was like three or five meters above cars, and that was scary as hell. I have no idea why the heck the height was so low. We almost crashed, I think like five times. I don't know the reason of this dream, because some people think that your dreams are exact thing that you want to happen. I don't know if this is real, but I think I wanted that. That was so crazy and fun at the same time. Even it was deadly to me, but after that we crashed on an island in the middle of nowhere. There were coconuts, we've made some fishing tools, and we had a good time just camping on this island. For no reason I had matches and a knife. We could make a camping fire, we ate fish. I don't like fish. I hated fish like for most of my life, I couldn't eat the fish. But I really like how my best friend cooks fish. And maybe I wanted to have a camp where we all ate some fish. And that's crazy. <laughs> As I said, I think this dream was exact thing that I want to see, that I want to happen one day. <laughs> Maybe not the helicopter thing, but uh, but I think I want to have a camping with my friends again. And cooking some fish on the grill, at least. <laughs> Maybe something about this theory can be true, because most of the time I see dreams that represent what I want to happen. But the saddest part, all of these dreams were not real. I just want to have this dream as a memory in this video and make this dream come true one day, this grilling trip with my friends. Okay, that's it. My story about my dreams is over, but if you have any other suggestions what I should do in the next video, please put some comments down below and tell me what I should do next. See you in the next videos. Bye!